Here's something I came into possession of today. This is a late 60s, probably 67, 68 Sear Silvertone AM FM clock radio. This is a transistorized radio that was made by Arvin for Sears. And it's kind of beat up. This is one of those deals where a friend of mine found this at a flea market and the guy only wanted five bucks for it, so he couldn't get me on the phone to ask me if I wanted it, so he took a chance and went ahead and got it anyway, so I just went ahead and gave him his five bucks back for it. You can see it's kind of chipped here on the edge of the plastic. It's dirty and beat up, missing one of the clock knobs, and the back's all loose on it, and the cord's been cut, and I thought, what the heck, we'll play around with it a few minutes and see if it can be made to work. And here's the inside of the radio showing the chassis. This is one of those transformerless hot chassis solid state sets. It uses a high voltage audio output stage, and which there's the audio output transistor right there, and the rest of the set uses low voltage. So let's plug it up and see if it crashes or works or burns or does absolutely nothing. Well, it looks like the clock is working. Don't know how accurate it is, but at least it's turning. Okay, let's see what happens. Now, what do you know? It works. for this thing, pull it apart, see if we can find out what the trouble is. Okay, I've got the silver tone radio apart and it's now basically dead on all bands now. Apparently the audio section is not working. Checking the collector voltage on the audio output transistor. We've got 60 volts, which that's about right. And on the base, I've got 6.8 volts, and I can hear a little hum in the speaker, so that tells me the final audio stage is working. However, when I move to the center of the volume control, I should get a hum there, and I'm getting absolutely nothing. So something is fouled up in the first audio stage. Here's the audio driver transistor and it checks completely open, no reading whatsoever, which is very strange because it was working last night and I guess it just decided to take a dump on us, so so now we have to track down a suitable substitute transistor and go from there. And the number on the transistor is 95221, which cross-references to an NTE-289. Let's see what that is. And an NTE-289 is an NPN, NPN silicon transistor used in audio power amp and switching applications. Judging from the specifications, I should be able to find something here to substitute for that. 
Okay, I was unable to find a 289, but I found a 194, which is an NPN silicon general purpose high voltage amp or high speed switch, which should still work okay in this application. And this transistor has the same basing as the original. And yeah, this one's been around a while. This was while ECG was still part of Sylvania before Phillips bought them out. So I think this thing's at least probably 32, 33 years old. So let's put it in the radio and see what happens. Okay, the transistor is installed and we now have audio. Let's see if we get any kind of reception. Mavis Anderson was there. She had brought a big basket of daffodils to put on okay, the we altar. Still got reception. Lovely white and yellow daffodils. People didn't know that. That was a gift to her. And I think that, that, that gateway point is the marijuana use. Be a reflection on Okay, FM still works. Let's see if AM still dead. And AM apparently is still dead. We still have that nothing but that hum you hear in the speaker. Okay, now we're back to the original problem. And the AM converter transistor has an open emitter to base junction. And this transistor crosses to an NTE-108. The original part number is Motorola 222. Now transistors used in RF applications can be a little bit trickier than, than what I just replaced in the audio circuit. A transistor that might work in one set may not work in another. So this, you know, it may take some trial and error to find a a transistor that works. Even if I can find a 108 in my stash, no guarantee that it's going to work. But we'll give it a shot. So like I said, sometimes these RF and oscillator circuits can be a little bit finicky. Not having the specified transistor on hand, I'm going to go with a ECG 194, which is the same thing we used in the audio circuit. And if it doesn't work, I won't be surprised because, like I said, these oscillator and mixer circuits can be a little bit finicky. And sometimes you have to go through many transistors to get one that'll work. In fact, me and YouTube member Shango066 were discussing that over the phone this afternoon. We were both sharing experiences about how we have often ran into radios with a dead mixer tube or transistor and you could replace the tube or transistor with another one and the radio would work and you could take the dead tube or transistor that by the way would check OK and install them in another set and it would work so like I said these are real finicky sometimes so let's put this in here and see what happens Okay, transistor is installed. Let's see what happens. Well, that sounds promising. I'm getting interference from the fluorescent light. It's in that dangerous place on the wow. day Islamists have made dangerous for all of us. Or while we were repeatedly told that a mob, not jihadist, killed him and his comrades. Or why... Oh, well, it was working. In the cover up. Dot com. I don't want to say I did the same thing I did. Right. So I'll go through, and we have more time next week, I'll go through all the things that are valuable, that are keepsakes, that are... Not 
not bad at all. Okay, we're back together and working again. A, uh, a guy wire for uh, my tower. Otherwise, you're going to see the north. Yes, happy National Day of Prayer to you, and it looks like we have a lot to be praying for. Yeah, and now uh, the president actually talked about it today. Uh, he didn't really do. He didn't really do that last year, as I recall. Do you remember? Well, it, 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 it. We'll have an opportunity to uh, give you a view of what's going on in the sky. Here's FM. I also want to tell you about some of the great deals we have on video editing. Bring all your old VHS home movies down to the store. We can convert them over to flash drive or DVD or load them on an iPad for as low as $49.95. We also have great deals on rental equipment for family. Uh, this president has appointees that we've just never had a price. Save money on dry cleaning. The mighty WMER. Meridian Community College offers... The rock you remember. The rock in 80s. Lost and found. 1986, it was a rock duo from Erie, Pennsylvania. That and there we go, the late 60s Sear Silvertone clock radio. Back in operation again. Thanks for watching and more to come later.